I want to show you a typical purchase to pay process in Dynamics 365 Business Central. To do this, I'm going to log in as four different users. The first user will be Alicia. She'll be working from Outlook. She's in the purchasing department. She'll be looking at offers from new vendors for a particular inventory item. Next, we'll log in as Alan. He's in the accounting area. He'll be reviewing the vendors and the purchase orders and then send them for approval. We'll look at the admin person. He'll be approving the vendors and the purchase orders and also creating the vendor's invoices. And we'll also be looking at David. David works in the warehouse and will be receiving the items. So let's get started. I'm logged in here as Alicia. And Alicia has previously reached out to three new vendors, asking them for offers on a particular inventory item. And we can see those responses here. Here's one vendor here coming in with the table for $330. Here's another vendor coming in at $340. And here's another vendor, the third vendor coming in at $320. Alicia decides to move ahead with modern products. From Outlook, she can set up a contact, a new vendor, and initiate a new purchase order. And to do that, she'll go up here to Contact Insights. This opens up a Business Central window. And you can see that Business Central cannot find the email from the new vendor. So Alicia wants to go ahead and add this. So I'll just click on Add. Here's information here. Let's add the company as well. It's going to be a new company. And because we have the address information right here in the email, let's add that as well. So Alicia has entered that information for the contact. We'll hit OK. And then what we can do is we'll create a vendor from this. Let's create a vendor. You can see the vendor has been created in Business Central. This vendor will go through an approval process. We'll take a look at that later. Once the vendor has been established, Alicia can also start the purchase order. So let's do that. Let's create a purchase order. Business Central scans the email from Jennifer to see if there are any items that Business Central knows about. And it does. It pulls up two options. The first one is the one that we're interested in. So let's take a look at that. Let's select that. Let's hit OK. This will create a purchase order line. Here's a purchase order. Here's the line information. Let's take a look at this. The quantity that we want is 100. And then we want to use our new price from Jennifer. That's $320, so we'll enter that. And that's all we need, so we're done with this. Alicia's done now. She received three offers from three new vendors, selected one. She set up that new vendor as a contact and a vendor and started a purchase order. The purchase order will also go through an approval process. So let's take a look at that. So I'm logged in as Alan. Alan's in the accounting area. Alan will take a look at the vendors and the purchase orders and review those. Let's look at the vendors first. Here's the new vendor here. Alan can review this, add any information that might be needed, but then go ahead and request approval for this. This approval request will go to the admin person and we'll take a look at that a little later, but let's look at the purchase order now. So here's the purchase order in Business Central. We got the correct item, the quantity, and the new pricing from the new vendor. Alan can review this further, but once he's done, he's going to request approval on this. And this will also go to the admin person for review and approval. I'm now logged in as the admin person, and I can see from my role center that I've got two requests to approve. Let's take a look at them. The first one is the vendor right here. I can open that up. Take a look at the vendor information. If it's good to me, I'll just go ahead and approve that. I also have this purchase order here. Let's take a look at that. Looks fine to me, so I'll go ahead and approve that as well. The next step is receiving. We'll log in as David, and we can see the purchase order right here. Here's a purchase order. It's been approved. It's been released. We can see that. Now David needs to receive these items. We can go over here and see that 
can see that the quantity is 100. And this is set up to receive 100. So let's receive all that in. And all David has to do is go up to post and receive that in. And now that PO line has been received, it's in inventory. The next step is to invoice it. So let's take a look at that. We'll log back in as the admin person. We'll take a look at this purchase order right here. If we scroll over to the right, we can see that it's been received. Quantity is received at 100, and we've got a quantity to invoice for 100. We now have the vendor's invoice. We can enter that invoice here. Once everything is good on this, the admin person, Jacob, can go ahead and post this. And now that invoice is in accounts payable, waiting to be paid. But a couple days later, we find out that one of the items that we'd previously received on that purchase order needs to be returned. So let's go ahead and create a vendor return. I'm logged in as the admin person. I'm going to create a purchase return order. Let's look up the vendor. Here's our new vendor. Here's the RMA from the vendor. We'll enter that. We'll select the item that we're going to return back to the vendor. It's going to be this item. Select the warehouse. Just one. It's got the price in there from the previous purchase. So this will create a credit on the vendor's accounts payable account. So let's go ahead and look at this. And then if it's good, we'll go ahead and post it. So that's the end of the purchasing part of the purchase to pay process. Alicia did some sourcing in Outlook. She used Outlook to get offers from three new vendors for a particular item. She set up the selected vendor as a contact, a new vendor, and initiated a new purchase order. Both the new vendor and new purchase order went through an approval process. Once the PO was approved, David received it into the warehouse. Jacob, the admin person, added the invoice when he got it from the vendor. He also entered one vendor return that they needed to do, and that's it.